Okay, class. So what I'm showing with this screencast is an example of what you'll be doing for the assignment for Monday, February 13th. If you look on the left side of the screen, what I have is just an example of a statement. I just picked the first one I could find, which is actually NBC Sports. It's not a specific athlete. But this is what is said. It says, friendly and relax no more. Belichick the grouch returns after Super, Super Bowl loss. So um, that could be something that raises an issue. So I would take this tweet, maybe copy that, and I'd put it over in, uh, if you look on the right side, I have the sample template that I want you to use. And I copied it in there, and I'd probably put the date on it as well, just to make it clear where it came from and the date for that uh, tweet would have been the Super Bowl, the date of the Super Bowl, which was February 5th, I think. So then I'd say, and I know from reading chapters 4 and 5 that I know one of the topics that comes up sometimes is defamation. So I type in defamation as the topic and that's the issue. Uh, was this a statement of fact? or just an opinion. And then the impact on the policy. Well, you don't know for now because you're still in the thinking stages, but I might say, should I say something about um, the difference between fact and opinion? Should, should I talk about gossip? Any league rules on uh, commenting on coaches? Okay, so those are the things that I have that would be in that first, based on that first comment. So if I can scroll back, it's a little awkward here, but I'll scroll back, you'll see then the topic, the issue, what the actual tweet was. You can either do the content or the date if the tweet is long or if it's several tweets, and then the impact on the policy. And so I want you to do that for all three of your athletes. So you'll see that I have uh, the first athlete's name, then second athlete's name, third athlete's name, and it will actually have the same box under each of these then you fill in as much or as little as you need, add rows, subtract rows. And uh, this will be posted on Blackboard as a um, Word document so that you can actually t copy it and then start filling in the information. Okay, so if you have any questions, just uh, let me know, but I'll be out of town for the actual date of the class, and this is what you'll be doing. You will be submitting this on Blackboard by 11.59 p.m. I will call it an ICCP for that date, but you realize that it's not a really the traditional ICCP because those we do in class. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.